It just got barely got below freezing last night. Agnes is trying to talk me out of some pellets. They did it early in the morning and man that anesthesia hit me hard and uh, I got home I slept all day long and then I slept all night too and then I got up about four o'clock this morning was still kind of wrung out you know just didn't really feel like doing a whole lot and finally I got my gumption up about I don't know it was probably about one o'clock something like that and I just loaded up and there's these little set of hills here I, I wanted to ride through I haven't been through them and, and I've only rode through them one time and uh, that was a miserable day wind was blowing hard wind always blows out here and uh, then I thought well I could just ride through here camp here tonight and then in the morning take off and go oh about it's just about a 20 minute drive up the road here and, and make a circle in there but uh, I'm still kind of wrung out that that anesthesia boy I, you know I'm glad they do it, but it sure, sure hangs on with me for a long time. So, yeah, that's that's the day. I rode right up through this canyon today. I'm gonna try to ride right up into that gap. I just want to get up on top. Maybe I can drop down the other side and just circle around and come back around that other gap over there. Pretty well worn trail. Pretty nice. Wind kind of quit blowing. Good afternoon. Agnes is fat. Ruth is fat. I'm fat. I'm gonna work on this a little bit. trail I've been talking about runs right out across this big openness right there and then it goes back over those rims there's a little old cut in the canyon it goes through we're cutting the rim and it goes through there and it keeps going that way yeah the dogs jumped a couple foxes and they they tried to run them I think it was foxes they, they, they couldn't you know they can't trail them very far in this country there's no firewood here all right it had me a big fire but we're kind of out in these flats and uh, people have camped right here before and there's no firewood around here. I could have unloaded everything out of the pack mule and then rode up the hill and, and cut some wood and packed it on down. I didn't feel like doing that. I'll just get out my jet boil and, and heat me up some beans and, and uh, that would be good enough for tonight. Get my coffee ready for in the morning. And hope the wind don't blow too hard tonight. I hope, I hope. I forgot to bring a pot and I don't have I don't have my big uh, hard panniers and they I got a little cook kits in those or a cook kit in those but I still have my jet boil so I really and there's no firewood here so I couldn't cook my steak but I have a can of beans but I didn't want to pour the beans just in the jet boil and get it all dirty in the bottom so I I poured some water in there and I just put the can in the water I and mean, hopefully it'll heat up my beans. And it's cold out here. I don't know what the temperature is. You know, 
As long as I got my coffee and I got some beans, I'll be all right. These jet boils are pretty handy. Carry me a little, a little spice kit. You know, because even if you have to. If you have to shoot a jackrabbit or anything, put enough spices on it, it'd probably taste decent. Then I use these little pill bottles, these old pill bottles to carry it all in. Red chili spice, that'd be good. Just save that water and make my coffee out of it too. After it's been boiled in that with that can in there. Probably not a good idea. Warming up. Mm, put some red chili in there. Holy moly. And then spice. I don't know what this is. Looks good though. not bad. Frijoles! Spur of the moment trip. I just decided I needed to get out. Just get out and be out and away from everything for just a little while. Nothing against anybody. I just, sometimes I just feel like I got to get out. I'm only probably an hour away from home, but one thing you got to have when you're an old man and you're sleeping in a rooftop tent and you got a ladder that you got to climb up into, you got to climb up to get into it. But then you also got to climb down to get out. It's miserable trying to climb down that ladder in the middle of the night to pee. So, these are pretty handy. Need I say more? <laughs> Usually the wind is blowing out of the west, and tonight it's blowing out of the east, which is completely different than what I'm used to. So I set up this tent with the clam part towards the west, because that's the way you're supposed to have it. But now the wind's blowing in this way. I'm not going to move it. It's not blowing that hard. I don't have my memory foam. I'd cut a memory foam pad to fit in here. Another one of those things I just forgot. But I do have my good sleeping bag. This thing's good for... I think they climb, climb Mount Everest with this thing. Western Mountaineering. 
I don't know, it's a minus five or 10, but they say that the Western mountaineering bags, a lot of those bags, the rate, the temperature rating on them is, uh, it'll keep you alive down to that temperature, not comfortable. These are rated to keep you comfortable to that temperature. So I, let's put it this way. I've slept out on the ground when it's gotten down to, you know, five degrees, maybe lower than that. And I even had to vent it a little bit because it's real, it's a real warm bag. So I'm not really worried about it. But, and then I, I always have a quilt that I keep. I was keeping it up in here, but the clam doesn't, it doesn't shut down very good with the quilt in here. So I just carry it in the back seat. And then I don't have my, my memory foam mattress, but I've got this, uh, Therma rest and it's a big mattress and and I bought it so I could be more comfortable when I was going if uh, if I was packing in and I was carrying uh, everything on my mule you know you can it's not like carrying things on your back you can have a little more uh, luxury a little more creature comforts but uh, I don't know this thing has a pad in it it's just not quite enough for my old bones but it might be tonight I don't feel like getting this out. If I if I have a hard time sleeping or anything, I'll go ahead and get this out. But it's like the maiden voyage, really. It's I've stayed in this thing probably four times before, but usually just on a like I'd go do a job somewhere, and instead of trying to drive all the way home at night. I just stop and pop this thing up, find me some BLM land somewhere and pop this thing up and, and stay in it. Save me a hundred bucks on a motel room and I sleep good in it, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna climb in the sack, guys. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Wasn't too bad. It was pretty cold though. Let me see if it says. I don't know if I can get the weather or not. I bet it was. I know it was around 20 something degrees. Dogs are getting restless. No, I don't have good enough signal. Get the, you know. it says 32 in Las Cruces. I'm up here in these hills, so it's probably about 27 degrees. I gotta get everything going. Let those dogs out so they can empty out. Load those mules up and get up the road. I'm drinking some coffee, some hot coffee. On a side note, always make sure you have two pee bottles. Don't forget that, that's pretty important. Because <laughs> one if, can fill up if, if you have one of those nights. <laughs> Watch out, Agnes. She's clear over here. I guess I should have tied her on the other side of the trailer. It's kind of a trick to do with spurs on. Dandy dandy little porch.
dogs were all thirsty this morning. The water I left in the in the in the uh, little pan or bucket that I feed them in or that I water them in was frozen, but the water you know in the jugs is not frozen. So it just got barely got below freezing last night. Agnes is trying to talk me out of some pellets. You want some pellets? I'll get you some in a minute. Let me have some coffee. I gotta put those dogs back up too before they get to wandering around too much. They won't hardly leave without me. bottom of my toothbrush. <laughs> some here in a minute okay it's cold colder than a witch's you know what I'm kind of late this morning I I don't know I think I'm still feeling the effects of that anesthesia from that stinking colonoscopy <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go up the road here about 15 miles and there's where the big mountains are and there's a circle I want to make in there so and then I gotta hook it on back because I have to be uh, I gotta be out of town tonight I'm gonna do a I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna help a buddy out tonight so anyway it wasn't too bad taking that down putting it up the more you do it the better you get at it I did break my ladder last night I don't know how but I did Oh well. All right, I'm gonna load these stinking mules up and, and get out of here. Oh, Agnes. Agnes is mad at me because I haven't given her any pellets. I'll give her some while I'm saddling them up up there. All right. The Butterfield Trail goes right through there and cuts right up on that rim right in there in that big gap. One of these days I'm gonna ride that sucker.
seems like I remember there was a trail down that point too. There's that point right out there. And as far as you can see out there is Mexico. Doctor picking up a little scent right here. I've, I've, I've trailed a lion right through here before. That's why I kind of wanted to... I, I, I believe that this saddle right here kind of connects all this country together. Problem is, if they trail down through there and I get down in that country, I won't make it to take my wife to Rio Doso. Yeah, I make it, but we might not get there till three o'clock in the morning. I've done that before. Trailed back and ended up back off in that country and just get out of there after dark. As a matter of fact, I made a video about it. I was way back up in there and I was supposed to go to the company Christmas, my wife's company Christmas party. And uh, that was a no-go. <laughs> That's all right. She didn't get mad at me. She's like me. She's not big on parties either. So That's Timmy boy. So wind and on this kind of slope.
enough. Ranella would say concluders the rooftop tent it's nice I you know I, I bought a memory foam mattress to go in there and I thought I had it in the back seat of my truck and I didn't the mattress that's in there is just a little too hard for my old bones I wake up you know and my fingers are numb and or you know I sore on my shoulder or whatever but you know I stayed pretty warm I didn't that sleeping bag I have is you know it's plenty warm but I still think I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of those little diesel heaters so at least when you're getting out of it in the morning out of your sleeping bag and you're getting dressed you have some some warmth and uh, oh the Timothy alfalfa hay pellets I think they're a little too hot uh, Ruth ruthless Ruth here has been kind of Kind of uh, on edge, I guess, you know, a little watchy, a little looky. I don't know, she's acting like she's scared of me. I, I, I didn't do anything to her. But I remember, you know, my dad always telling me, you know, that ah, you can't feed, you know, sweet feed or anything like that. It'll, it'll make those horses high. Or we called it high, and I always thought it was high-headed, which it could have meant the same thing. <laughs> but I remember him telling me, you know, go out there and... I go out there and get on that gelding, you know, but but uh he hasn't been rode for a while, so he'll be high as a kite, be careful. <laughs> so but uh yeah that those those pellets I they didn't have any corn or anything in them, but it sure made uh Ruth high, I think. Or she just got you know, she's a stinking mule. She probably just maybe just got something in her head. What else? I need to figure out a way to get around around the back side over here and could make a whole circle and I could probably build a trail right off of that rim and uh, get down there and come back around the backside I hate coming back the same way I left I don't it just seems like a waste of time to me I, I like to make big circles so but it was a good day I mean I really enjoyed it the dogs did pretty good they were trashy this morning but then when we got on that rim, they were trailing a lion. I mean, that was a lion. It just was probably, uh, you know, either a little old female and she's not leaving much or, uh, you know, or Tom went through there and, and they're just picking up little spots here and there. But they couldn't really put anything together. But, and I need to get me a little cook kit that I carry with me with a little pan and and maybe a pot I don't know I'll see what's available and when I come like this I need to go ahead and pack my sleeping bag and my other tent and uh, my little lantern and everything and just in case you know what I, I get out and I have to stay I like to take a pack mule because it it uh it gives Agnes a little break she doesn't have to carry extra weight and I don't know, you can carry just a little, you know, you can carry some, some, uh, creature comforts, as they say. 
so and I don't I, I don't know I like the I like the thought of taking a pack mule it's not that big a deal once you get used to it dogs did good all the male dogs jumping jack flash Al ese uno Timmy boy Clara Booger bear Big Al <laughs> All right, what are the stats? Any guesses? 11.68 miles. Hey, that's a pretty good day. Moving time was six hours and 10 minutes. It's 311 right now. Elevation right now is 5,000, or right here is 5,628 feet. Bless you. It was a good day. <laughs>